My name's Troy Mulcahy. I'm with the Market Development Agronomy Group with Bayer, focused on horticulture. So we're just in the heart of the Golden Valley, just outside of Tatura at MJ Hall & Sons. Uh, we've done trials here previously with Viego, but this year we decided to do an additional trial looking at all the Group 28 side by side in a replicated trial. With the trial, what we've done is tried to target the first generation codling moth, which is really important. We had really high pressure from the start of the trial right throughout. Viego was the outstanding treatment when we compare all the diamides on two levels for the most reduction in damage and also the least amount of entries into the fruit. So overall, very happy with those results. From what the work we've done on this property, we know that Viego has reduced the amount of damage on the fruit. So from a commercial perspective and a grower's perspective, that means more marketable fruit, more saleable fruit, which is the aim of our game. So what we try and do is we target the first generation and we know that during that period uh, when we've got adults active, we've got eggs being laid and we've got larvae entering fruit, it's a really critical period that tetranilprol within Viego has effect on all those life stages. So from the adult to the egg to the larvae, you've got multiple ways that you're controlling that pest and if we particularly do that early in the season, we see the most benefits. From a farmer's perspective, that then gives him a little extra flexibility, particularly around application timing with Viego. If we look at purely the oversidal piece, where we talk about being preventative and curative oversidal, that means for the farmer that if he's got eggs laid in the crop and then he sprays Viego, there's a good level of control, or then another scenario where he's applied Viego and then eggs are laid on top of those trees, then there's also a high level of control. So from an application point of view, that gives us a little bit extra flexibility in terms of that application. This has got fantastic efficacy, and when we compare it to all the other diamides, we see it as best in class chemistry that's new for the Australian market. It's also very broad spectrum, which is quite unique for that group of chemistry. And I guess like we would expect with the group 28, it's really friendly for the IPM profile. So when we look at protecting our beneficial species and particularly beneficial mites, uh, Viego is a really nice fit for that situation. This farm is one of the first to use it commercially. They saw the trials that we had on this property the previous year, so decided to integrate it into their program. So it's been used multiple times across their property and we've seen a really nice reduction in damage overall. Uh, so that's, that's been fantastic.